What's up ghouls? It's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a Spooky Box Club unboxing. Whoa, my hands look just so weird. <laughs> spooky Box Club unboxing. Um, so as I explained in my last video, which will be linked below if you haven't seen it. If you haven't seen it, what are you doing? You're slacking. I'm sad, hurt, betrayed. <laughs> um, I have been super mega busy. Um, shit's been happening, so I have, I'm very behind on my videos. So to make up for that, I am getting through those now for you guys. So I have here Spooky Box Club, which is the Tales of Terror box. Cute, spooky ass music. Um, so I have no idea what the theme is doesn't really tell you a lot. I haven't yet to see any spoilers online, thank god. So this is going to be a total surprise. This box feels quite heavy, so I'm very intrigued to know what is in here. Also, quickly, just to point out, I think this may be my last ever spooky box. Um, I told you guys earlier that I ended my subscription due to uh, the cost went up, the cost of everything else in my life has gone up. Um, so I can't really afford to continue on. I've had a very good run with Spooky Box Club. I've been subscribed for over a year. I've had some absolutely incredible things. Um, so I'm ending on a very positive note. Woo, okay, this looks exciting. So this is my card that comes in there. It's kind of like a, like a mauve color, um, but I'm not gonna be reading that yet. I don't wanna ruin anything. Okay, so the first thing I've picked up is a s- Whoa, okay. Mind focus. Now I am. Weird. So the first thing I've picked up is a very adorable little pin, and it says, tell me a ghost story. So yeah, it's like a circle pin with spooky tree branches and a little crescent moon, and it's super, super adorable. Um, so I'll be adding that to my little pin collection box. I kind of want to make like a board to display my pins on, because I don't really- wear my pins, they're just kind of all in a box at the moment, so I need to work on putting them in some kind of frame or mounting them or something so that they are on display because they're so cute. Next thing we have here is a very Christmassy looking lollipop, red and white stripe, looks like a little candy cane. I hope that it's mint flavour because that would be so good. Um, right. Next thing we have here is a batty planner or book band. So it's a black and purple bat and it's on this uh, purpley elastic. So what you could do is, um, I guess, pop it inside the book on whatever page you're on or you can pop it around the book to keep it safe. Uh, let's just grab Beyond the Dark Veil here. Obviously it doesn't match the aesthetic of this book, but looks pretty cute. Is that like what you do with it? I don't know. Or pop it inside perhaps, but kind of like that so you can open it straight to where you need it. It would like mark the week or something I suppose on your planner. So that's very cute and I have been using my bullet journal so um, this would be really useful and really cute in my bullet journal. So I like this. It's almost like a little headband. Oh, this is so freaking tight. Hippie goth. <laughs> Why do I embarrass myself? <laughs> Next up, we have it's very big. What is it? Batty book slip cover. This sleeve is to. <laughs> I can't read. This sleeve is perfect to keep your book, e reader, planner, tablet, or notebook and pen from getting damaged when in your bag. <sighs> I was literally just saying to Jake, because we're going to Italy, by the time I uploaded this, I think I've probably already been, um, but I was saying that I really need to get like a cover for my iPad so it doesn't get damaged um, in my suitcase, and this looks perfect. So it's quite large, I probably wouldn't use it for a notebook, because I don't tend to carry a big notebook around, because I finished uni, I don't really have any purpose for one anymore. I have a motorbike. The only time a loud motorbike is acceptable if it's Jack's Teller, Juice, or Chips. <sighs> I love that. Okay, so 
this is the size of it. Um, it's purple and it's got little cute bats all over it. It's very typical spooky box club. And then you've got like a little pin or a little button and elastic so you can pop it over to kind of do this up. Um, so it's not got any other fastening, no like zipper or anything. So if you kept like lots of small things, you're probably at risk of them falling out. But I would just use it for my iPad. It's like a gold one. Let me see, please fix. Yes! So it just sits straight in there, pop the thing over, your iPad's not gonna fall out, and it's um, it's quite cushiony and quite thick, so there's a bit there's a decent amount of protection there. And it's also good because it's soft on the inside, which means that your screen isn't gonna get like scratched or anything like that as long as you don't keep anything else in there with it. So I'm definitely gonna be using this when I go to Italy. Ooh, bloody bookmark. Ooh, look at the packaging, kinda looks like an ice cream. This reminds me of like a waffle, and then this is like all dripping down. Maybe I'm just hungry. Oh, that's so cool. So you open it up and it's like, um, it's stuck onto this backing, like, you know, to keep it safe, keep it clean. So you would just stick this in the page of your book to mark where you are. This is so cute. I feel like you need to be reading like a murder mystery or you need to be reading like some Edgar Allan Poe, super goth. So it just kind of sticks on there and then you know where you are and it's not going to damage your book or anything. That's so cute. I really like that. That's a good idea. It's very fun. And it matches my bra that fun toms. I'm gonna pop it back in that thing so I don't get it. Covered in cat hair, courtesy of Pumpkin. The shittiest cat I've ever known. Um, next up we have something in a bag. Very descriptive. It is a little necklace with, it looks like a nail on the end. So this is a different chain to what you normally get from Spooky Box Club. So instead of it being like a standard silver chain, um, if you're gonna be able to see that, please ignore my hideous nails. Um, I don't know how you describe it, but it's like a slightly more interesting chain. And then you've got, it looks like a little nail on the end, and then it's got a little skull at the top of the nail. This is really, really cute. It's a nice long necklace, which you tend to get a lot with Spooky Box Club. Um, and I think they're really good because they draw a lot of attention to your outfit, so they're really cute. I really like that, that's so adorable. Okay, this is a very bulky book here in a big bag. These big bags are so good. Um, you can use them to like gift someone something or like I store like necklaces in them and chokers and you can just store loads of bits in them like little bits of stationery to keep it all separate and organized. I never throw these bags away, I always keep them. So the book is in bubble wrap. Oh it's so cute. So it's a I guess it's kind of, it is a matte book, but it's just very shiny because of my ring light. Um, so it's a matte black book with gold cobwebs and stars on the front. It almost is kind of reminiscent of like astrological signs and things like that, so that's really cute. And then inside are just an abundance of plain pages, which is really, really good because if you're like me and you don't tend to like write in a perfectly straight line and you don't like to just write and nothing else, like I like to doodle and add things and stickers and whatever, I have a very all over the place mind and that definitely translates to my books, journals, whatever. So it's perfect when there's no lines. Um, and then you've got your little bookmarky thing here or you could use your new bat thing. And then at the back on the bottom it says Spooky Box Co. This is absolutely adorable. Like I might make this like my little YouTube book or something and then I can write all my ideas and my plans and things like that in here. It'd be so cute. It's like a really, it's a big heavy duty book. Like I'd imagine this would be rather expensive if you bought it like on its own. So that's really cool that you get something like that. And then there's one more thing at the bottom and it says Lost Letters Sticky Notepad Set. Okay, so... <gasps> this is so cute! So, 
The packaging, as always, is adorably cute. And as you open it up, you've got these four little memo pads. <laughs> From a distance, they kind of look like, like burnt toast. <laughs> but they're just supposed to be like really old paper, like old parchments, all like ripped and torn and aged. And if that isn't the cutest damn thing I've ever seen, okay, this is making me hungry. Looking at it from here in the viewfinder, it looks like toast and now I'm really hungry. But yeah, they are so, so cute. Did you guys ever like age plain paper when you were younger, like tea stain it and put it in the oven. Let me know down below if you ever did that. I remember doing it for a school project and I made this like, I think it was based on the evacuees and I made like an evacuee book um, and burned all the paper and wrote on it in black ink and stuck black and white photographs on it. That was like one of my favourite projects I ever did. If you did that, let me know. If not and you want to DIY on it, then also let me know because I could definitely do that. But yeah, super cute. So that's everything that was in the box. Now I'm left with loads of red heart confetti that you guys are not going to be able to see and it's just gone everywhere. Um, and I've said before, I keep the confetti and use it in looks because I like glitter. So <laughs> yeah, that was such a cute box. I'm really happy with all the stuff I got in that. So it says you should have custom made golden web journal. Uh, custom made tell me a ghost story pin, custom made coffin nail necklace, yes it was, ooh, it was a coffin nail, custom made bat book or planner band, custom made bloody bookmark, custom made batty book slip cover, lost letters sticky note pad set, and handcrafted gourmet lollipop. So we did get everything, and the cards are so cute. I'm really really happy with this box, it's so adorable. It appeals to the more creative -y side in me and it makes me want to just read and write and be surrounded in cute little Victorian writings and I don't know, I don't know. Um, if anyone has any really good book recommendations please let me know because I am not very well informed on good books. Um, I, in order to give me like a good recommendation probably one of my favourite things at the moment. I'm really, really into the Victorian era and I just read um, The Yellow Wallpaper for the first time and I'm completely in love with it. That was, It featured a lot in my final major project. It was like a huge inspiration towards it. So if you guys have any recommendations based off of that book, please do let me know because I would definitely love to check them out. So. That is everything in this box. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. It feels so good to be back and filming and unboxing for you guys. I've definitely missed it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.